Well, I finally have it, my top 10 Linux for 2012. That is the top 10 Linux based operating systems for newbies, newbies, dummies, noobs, new users, however you would like to describe them. And I say those words with the utmost respect and friendship, of course. I thought long and hard about this and I juggled the list somewhat, not so much the top three, but towards the bottom. Anyway, I will go through this list rather quickly because I will probably talk more about this in a future video, maybe even a podcast and have some guests on the show. So let's go through this. Number 10 is the PC Linux OS. It is called the Full Monty Desktop. Love the title. The, F the Full Monty was a movie back in the 90s, a very funny comedy if I recall, but this is definitely full. This download is about... Uh, four gigabytes um, now this is the only one i haven't tested yet but i've tested pc linux os in the past and i liked what i saw so i'm going to assume disclaimer with this one i have not tested but if it's reliable as in the past you should be okay it's a huge download it's four gigabytes and i like it here where it says user level right over here it says user level beginner intermediate and advanced so i will take their word for it so that's number 10. Going down the slot, Netrunner Dryland 3rd Edition 12.12. .12. I tested this not too long ago. One of the most beautiful, standard-looking KDE desktops I've seen in a long, long time. Beautiful wallpaper. Now, somebody mentioned this is just Kubuntu that's, that's been customized. That's true, but at least they've done the customization for you as a newbie. All right, next up is the Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition. Many of, you, many of you prefer this as your top Linux OS. You know what? I, this certainly has promise. Cinnamon was really born out of a dislike or disdain for the way uh, Linux desktops were going into the future, such as the Ubuntu Unity desktop or GNOME 3 or GNOME Shell. I don't mind those other two. Uh, Cinnamon shows promise. It's just not as bug-free or as user-friendly as I like. An example would be um, I downloaded... Uh, a couple applet, uh, applets uh, and they don't work I couldn't I couldn't uh, add them to the panel bar it's much easier to do it in a different operating system and I'll show you here in a moment all right after Linux Mint cinnamon keeping with the Linux Mint team check out Linux Mint 14 KDE again this is another one based on KDE this is probably, KDE is probably, well, it's not probably, but it's more geared uh, towards uh, user friendliness and Windows users looking for something that is somewhat familiar to Windows 7. Uh, Linux Mint should have everything working out of the box for you. All right, let's go on to the lightweight distributions. Uh, Peppermint OS, if you are tied into the cloud, to the internet, check out Peppermint OS. This is a cloud-based, mainly cloud-based uh, operating system very lightweight uh, I believe under it says here 500 megabytes 512 megabytes um, I've tested this in the past very quick and another one to consider uh, besides this is Lubuntu well after that after that one is uh, Zubuntu which is my top uh, lightweight distribution for newbies uh, Zubuntu is designed mainly for older uh, outdated computers or new ones for that matter also runs pretty quick this uses the um, XSX FCE desktop environment so I have this installed on one of my computers older laptops check it out if you want something lightweight and easy to use all right well let's go into the top four and I'm, I'm sure you've heard of these before ping guy OS uh, ping guy has been doing this now for about what a couple years the developer has done a very good job in creating uh, a about a about as complete and out of the box experience for new new users meaning that everything should work without having to download any extra software as you would with some of the other operating systems so check out ping guy OS let's go to the top three this is for me personally my number one choice well it's my desktop of choice linux desktop of choice of my current one that i'm recording now this is of course ubuntu i use ubuntu 12.04 with the unity unity desktop environment i know many of you don't like it when i first saw it uh i wasn't sure 
I, I love it now. Uh, it's great. And if you're looking for something different, uh, check out Unity. It's, it's different, but it's not that difficult to learn. The next two, I juggle this back and forth. But number two for me is Linux Mint. The current edition is 14. I prefer the Mate edition over the Cinnamon. Uh, Mate to me runs faster. It's less buggy. And really, the Mint team really have taken GNOME 2 into the future, and they, and they just renamed it Mate. I know that many of you still prefer the GNOME 2 environment. It's probably, if I dare say, probably the number one favorite environment for Linux users, something that at least looks like the old GNOME 2. But they have called it Mate. I love it, and I never can get tired of the Mint menu. Well, number one should come as no surprise is Zorn OS 6. This is one that also provides a complete out of the box experience. Look, it looks like Windows. It's not, but it looks like Windows. And the way I see it, if you are brand new or if I was a brand new uh, dummy or newbie to Linux and someone gave me this, I would feel quite comfortable. It doesn't necessarily mean I would keep it or replace my Windows 7, but at least if it looks familiar, it's going to feel comfortable. And if it feels com comfortable and it works, I probably at least might stick around with trying this for a while. Now, my number one choice for me personally is Linux Mint Mate. And I juggle these back and forth, but if I was to give someone, you know, just a USB stick or a CD, DVD with an operating system, I really couldn't go wrong with either Linux Mint Mate or Mate. Let's just combine it and call it Cinemate, right? Anyway, you really couldn't go wrong with either Linux Mint Mate or Zorn OS. But you know, if if I had to, you know, put my foot down and pick one for brand new Linux dummies, newbies, this is the one to go with at least for now. All right, well there you have it. My top ten Linux OSs for 2012. I know I went through those rather quickly. Like I said, I will have more on this sometime in the future. I'll probably consider uh, consider that discussion, uh, you know, molded into a podcast and maybe have some of my Linux friends on and see what they think about my top 10 choice for 2012. Anyway, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Love it, hate it, somewhat consider it, uh, somewhat throw the list away. I, I would completely understand either way. I'm mainly interested in what you newbies or uh, semi-newbies have to say about the list. Thank you so much for watching and, and listening. As always, I will catch all of you sometime in your Linux future.